Hello students of standard 9. We are going to begin with the revision of the syllabus, the new syllabus. Okay, as per the new syllabus, we are having in our syllabus sources where you have to explain the great path, the citadel, seals, bearded man, dancing girl, dockyard and script. We'll have a detail of this. Then urban feature, you are supposed to study features of urban planning and houses. And the last topic in this chapter, decline of the civilization. This is the new revised syllabus which has come for uh, 2020, uh, 2021 uh, standard 9 okay so here first we are going to study the sources which are the sources which gives information about the Harappan civilization the sources you have the great bar okay so what is the great bar it's largest public building at Mohan Jodaro largest public building found at Mohan Jodaro and it has a rectangular tank in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. Okay. There are two flights of steps in one, one in the north and the other in the south leading into the tank to make the pool water tight, burnt brick and motor lined with butumen and gypsum were used for construction. So this was just like a swimming pool largest public building found at Mohanjodaro. Okay, so here it shows the perfection that they were so perfect in making the building. Okay, then it shows that it could be made for some religious purposes. And it also shows the massive structure points out that there might have existed a ruling class that could mobilize labor then collect taxes and build such a huge structure for the public. The next we have the citadel. The first thing what you, are, you have to understand is the meaning of the citadel. It was the raised area of each city. Raised area of each city was known as citadel. It was called citadel. Okay. It owed its height to building height to the buildings constructed on a mud brick platform and the citadel had the houses of ruling classes and the important buildings also were built on citadel like the great bath was found then the greenery then the assembly hall and the workshop okay the next uh, you have to understand the seals okay seals were used by harappans which shows the artistic skill then it shows the material used in making the seals like terracotta, statite, agate. These are the material which was used. It tells about the physical features of human, human being, animals and birds. And most of the seals are rectangular or square, but some of them were circular in shape. Okay, some of the seals were circular in shape. Now, Harappan seals provide information about the script, trade, religion and belief of the Harappans. These scripts provide us information about their script, about their trade, about their religion and belief. Now, how religion? One of the most beautiful seals are, is found that is seal of Shiva Pasupati and it shows that people believed in Shiva. And... If we describe this seal, it shows a three-faced deity wearing buffalo horn headdress, seated crossed leg on a throne and surrounded by some elephants, ele uh, some ele uh, surrounded by elephant, a tiger, buffalo and rhinosaurs and two deer. Okay, at his feet. So this seal, this deity is identified as a Pashupati Mahadi. Then one more seal, that is the unicorn seal, uh, is found, which shows the mythical belief of the Indus Valley people. Then seals were used. It was used by traders to stamp their goods. Okay, the next you have bearded man. Bearded man, the stone sculpture of a man with a beard, was discovered from Mohanjadaro. And this statue shows a shawl 
worn over the left shoulder and the eye are half closed. Therefore, some scholars believe that this statue is of a yogi. Okay, so sometimes it is also known as stone statue of shawl clad yogi. Dancing girl, bronze statue of a dancing girl found at Mohanjadaro is a masterpiece of art and it shows a high degree of development in the art of sculpture. So here what information it gives? Okay, it gives that the right arm of a dancing girl rests on the hip of hip and the left arm is heavily bangled and it holds a small bowl against her left leg. The next you have dockyard. Next is dockyard. So it what is dockyard? A rectangular dockyard was found at Mohanjodaro. It was discovered at Mohanjodaro. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. The rectangular dockyard was discovered at Lothal in Gujarat and it was surrounded by a massive brick wall. Probably was a protection against flood. It was probably was a protection against flood and this dockyard was made of baked brick and connected by channels to the Gulf of Campbell. The next you have script. Okay, the next you have script. When you speak about script, the Harappan used a script which is regarded as pictographic. Since its science represents bird, fish and a variety of the human form, the number of signs of Harappan script is known to be between 375 to 400. And these scripts were inscribed on number of seals, copper tools, then rims of jars, copper and terracotta tablets. Jewelry and on an uh, ancient signboard. These seals were found. So as for your new, new syllabus, the urban planning is given where you are supposed to remember the important cities of Indus Valley civilization where you will learn Harappa, Mohanjadaro, Chanidaro, Lothal in Gujarat, Kali Bangan and Banavali. Learn these names of the cities. Then features of urban planning if you are asked the features of urban planning, you are supposed to mention the main characteristics of town planning that each city was divided into two parts, the raised area called the citadel and the lower town. The so second thing which you have to remember in the features of urban planning, the main street followed a grid pattern running from north to south and from east to west. Then the house, houses at street corner were rounded to allow carts to pass easily. House drains emptied all wastewater into the street drains. And the street crossed the main road at right angle dividing the city into square or rectangular blocks. Houses, residential buildings were built according to a set, of, uh, set plan on a high mound in order to protect them from flood. There are varieties of the size of houses from single room tentment to bigger houses with courtyard up to 12 rooms, private wells and toilets. The entrance of the houses were from the narrow lane which cut the street at right angle and the kitchen was placed in a shelter corner of the courtyard and a ground floor contained storeroom and other chamber and the houses were made up of brick and Wood. The next topic which you have to remember is decline of civilization. How such a great civilization declined? It could be flood and earthquake. It could be increased aridity. It could be deforestation. Now how deforestation? Okay. Bro this uh, Indus Valley civilization was a Bronze Age culture. So enormous quantities of wood was needed to produce bronze. So wood was also wood was also uh, needed to produce bronze. Wood was also needed to produce jewelry, baked brick, pottery, stoneware, and to make boats and furnitures. And the next, uh, the last reason for the decline of civilization, you have to remember attack of the Aryans. Attack of the Aryans. So, so much only, you, we have revised, it was a revision class, 
where you studied about the great bath, the citadel, seals, bearded man, dancing girl, dockyard, script, then urban planning, you studied features of urban planning and houses, and the last topic which you studied that how such a great civilization declined. So please learn. Thank you.